people who see other Jews make sins and they don't make a beep. Don't make a beep. They're about to do a big mixed party. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't participate. He's religious. He goes home. Why did you leave? They mix. They're making a mixed party. No. So why didn't you stay? You're crazy. It's against the Torah. Why didn't you stay to stop it? No, I don't want headache. I'm not looking for enemies. Anyway, they won't listen to me. Excuses. Somebody like that is a very big sin. There's a question now. Listen good to this question. A, a rabbi went to a wedding to, make, to be Mesader Kiddushin. Yosef and Miriam getting married tonight. Mazal tov. So what are they doing? They know the rabbi came, so they respect him. But what happened? They're counting on the rabbi to live right after the chuppah. That they can move the trees that they put between the dancing of the women and the dancing of the men. As soon as the rabbi walks out, the mechitza, <laughs> there's no memory from the mechitza that he was ever there. The rabbi realized that as long as he's there, they dying to remove the separation, but they embarrass. So now he has the question. According to the Torah, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go to my shiur in yeshiva? People waiting for me at 9 o'clock. I give a shiur to people who come, lecture. There's 50 people waiting, and I'm supposed to give them a lecture. Between 9 and 10. Routine lecture. But if I leave the wedding, 300 guys and girls are going to start dancing together. What do you think the law is? He has to stay to be a guard, or since he has a routine shiur, limu Torah, he has to teach his Torah. He has to go, and that's, let them die. What's his problem? They want to make sins. That's between them and Hashem. It's not my problem. They want to die, let them die. Die, I mean, in the afterlife. So what's the halacha? He must stay. Must stay. Must stay. Almost no rabbi stay. They have their business. They need to eat. The meat is ready now. He doesn't want the meat to get cold. Not talking shiur Torah. Just going home, doing nothing, sitting home, whatever. Where does it say in the Torah that you have to stay? Abaye. It was in the morning. He heard the guy and the girl, the girl asking for a ride. He said, I cannot let them go together. They are isolated in a forest. Who knows what sin they're going to do? Young guy and a young girl together in a jungle. I have to follow them. But he had a big shiur in the yeshiva every morning. He has to go to the yeshiva. There's no telephone. Chacham Yitzchak, replace me in a shiur. Today you can find a solution. You call another rabbi, it's an emergency. I'm supposed to go give a lecture at 9 o'clock. Please show up, say that I had an emergency, and give a shiur. You can do both. He didn't have a phone. He had to follow them. So he started to follow them in the morning early. All the way, until they did not make the scene. She went left, he went right. That was the end of the story. And then he started to cry. And one person came to him and said, Rabbi, why are you crying? So you see this guy? Yeah. You see this girl? Yeah. I've been following them for hours. No. And they didn't make a scene. So the guy said, very good. Ah, Baruch Hashem. Finally, Shnei Tzadikim. So why are you crying? So you don't get it, huh? I'm not crying for them. I'm crying for myself. If I gave a right to this girl, I make a sin with her. So this ordinary Jew who doesn't know 1% of 1% of my Torah, I said, did not make the sin. And if I would do it, I would make the sin. How can I not cry? So what's the answer? How can it be? The biggest chacham in the world and the biggest fool in the world and the biggest fool is holier? What's going on? The greater you become, the Satan becoming tighter and tighter and tougher and gives his life to destroy you. Why? Because when you started, you were equal like 10 people. 20 years later, you equal like 10,000 people in your spiritual level. If he puts you down, it's like putting 10,000 Jews to the garbage. That's why he puts all his efforts against you. The Gemara says, why Mashiach come 
from a root, a convert, and from the descendants of Lot. They couldn't find any better family that the Mashiach would come from? Why does it have to come from a woman who came, nobody knew she is, one day she showed up, finally she converted, and Lot, that had relation with his two daughters, and they had two mamzerim, Amon and Moab, and from them later, Ruta Moavia came, and she married Boaz, and then a few generations later, David Amelech, and the Mashiach came from him. Imagine such a story. Imagine now you hear on the news, there's a father, 90 years old, his daughter gave him some whiskey, or bismoishmo, so he drank a little bit, and then what happened? When he was drunk, his daughter, 30 years old, she had relation with him, and she conceived. And then the next night, the second daughter, 32 years old, had relationship with her father, and she conceived. And then they had two mamzerim, right? And he died, the old man. And then the two mamzerim started to turn into a nation. And then one girl from this nation decided to convert. So she went to the field. She met the chief of the Sanhedrin, the biggest chacham in the world. And he married her. And they had a few generations. And then there was a boy named David, all day sitting in a forest, learning in his books and taking care of the sheep. And people speak against him. They say, his mom's there, his mom's there, he's not from his father and mother, don't bring him over. That's the story. And from there, Mashiach come. Why? He couldn't come from one of the great families in the Talmud or, for, or in the Torah. Why? To confuse the Satan. He doesn't know where it's going to come. He's expecting it's going to come from the best families. So he's always watching. Someone is a potential Mashiach. Right away, let's go destroy him. It comes from a direction he, ne he never dreamed. And the last thing for tonight, people who could stop the sin and did not make the sin, they are holding, they are held guilty in Shamaim that they did not stop the sin.